Hey guys, how are we today? Uh, welcome back for another programming tutorial. Um, if you can call it a tutorial, or maybe a, a tip more than likely. So, because um, we're not going to go into too much of the uh, nitty gritty detail, we're just going to. I'm just going to show you the uh, the process of how to do this. And this is um, to basically read a column of data from a database table, a SQL table, and then. Um, write it into a list box or a, a checklist box. So, uh, okay, the first thing we need to do is obviously create the database, so click on Add Connection, change the data source, and make sure you, uh, unless you want to connect to the database directly um, to a server, then uh, create a standalone file, which is what I'll be doing for this demonstration. So Microsoft SQL Server Database File, which is a standalone file, click OK. We are going to create a demo table called Smurfs, so we might not call the database Smurfs, and uh, enter that here. And this database doesn't exist, so we'll click OK. It'll say the database file, C uses, blah, 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 does not exist. Would you like to create it? Yes, please. Wait a few seconds for this database file to be created. Now it's created, OK? So drop the tables down. See, we've got none in there. Right click, add new table. Okay, so we can add a new table and uh, we can either enter it manually or we can just do a new query and create it manually through a query, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I have created some off screen code to do this. Let's paste this in here. So this is going to create a table called Smurfs. We're going to have uh, two rows, two columns in there. One is going to hold the ID and one is actually going to hold the name of the Smurf. Okay, so we'll execute that query, push, and that executed uh, successfully. So now, if we right click on our table and refresh it, we'll see we've got a Smurfs table. Now what we do is we need to clear that query and create a new query, which now inserts the data into the table. Okay, so next we need to insert our Smurf names. So here is the R, the insert scripts which I wrote earlier. Let's execute that. Hopefully we will get successes throughout, which we do. And then we can kill that. Save changes to follow items. No thank you. Now if we look at the data for the table, show table data, hopefully we will see a table and we will have a whole bunch of schmurfs in there. Very good. Okay. So that's the database done. Next thing we need to do is go to the toolbox and we need to select uh, our list control that we are going to uh, we are going to populate. So we can do a checklist box or we can do a list box or we can do a list view. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do a straightforward um, uh, list list view for now. Okay, let's drag that down and. Uh, Let's put a little button up here, which is going to be our load button. Call it load. So that's going to load data from the database, and then we uh, might as well give it the name. A name, 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 name. Where is name, 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 name? Uh, come on, come on. Here we go. Name button load. Okie dokie, so now we will set the event for the load, so we can do one of two things. We can click our little lightning bolt events button here on the properties panel. And then we can go down to our click event, um, or we can just double click the button. Which does exactly the same thing. Now we have a button, load, click event. And in here, we will write our routine which um, calls the, the uh, calls the database and gets the data from the database okay so before we can do that we need to um, create an entity so what we're going to do here is I'm going to use um, something called entity frameworks okay so to use entity frameworks just right click your project go to add add new item in the items list select data Select addo.net entity data model. You can call it what you like. I'm just going to call mine Smurf Entities. Entities. Okay. 
EF designer from database. Yes, please. So click next. Smurf entities, leave that alone. Make sure that your uh, data connection is pointing to smurfs.mdf, which it is. Click next. The connection you selected uses a local data file that is not in the current project. Would you like to copy the file to your yes? Okay, entity framework six, that's fine. Next. That's it, retrieving database information. Okay, so now we have a little, little list here which we can drop down and it'll show us our tables inside our database. So make sure you select the Smurfs table and click finished. Okay, make a note of this model namespace because you're gonna need that in a minute. That's gonna create ourselves um, a table diagram. Give it a couple of seconds to create. Couple of seconds. Time for a drink of mineral water, I think, but sparkling lemon and lime. Ah, oh, there we go. Ugh. Right. Excuse me. So we've got that, and you will notice now we've got a bunch of references up here to Entity Framework, which isn't important. But what you will notice is down here, you've got a smurf entities.edmx file added and underneath that, you've got a whole bunch of smurfy this and smurfy that's. Um, the important one is this smurf entities context, because you'll see here, this is your uh, um, your class smurf entities and uh, the, the namespace is demos. To, to get access to the table and the smurfs um, table, you obviously need to uh, uh, reference this demo namespace um, and then the smurf entities okay but you'll see that in a minute and then down here you'll see that you've got a smurfs object so you can access the uh, properties inside the smurf object or inside the table i.e. name or smurf id by using the smurf class um, you'll see in a minute with the practical example so let's close that let's close that nice clear desktop <laughs> pop the load and in here we need to um, create our using statement. You know, we said earlier on about using the demo namespace. Okay, so we got demo, um, semicolon. Okay, so now down here we can do demo dot smurf entities, which was our entities um, entities class, which I just showed you, and then we'll just call it SE for smurf entities equals new smurf entities parentheses semicolon return okay so now we have an se object which is our smurf entities object wow well, which is nice next thing we need to do is to um read the list use the list of smurf names now from the database and we're going to do that using um a query okay so we're going to create a variant type and we're going to call it Smith names equals. Uh, we want all the Smurf names, don't we? So we're going to go. Okay, so parentheses from uh, I don't know M N M N. Uh, what do we call it? S E dot. Uh, Smith Smurfs select M dot Smurf name. Okay, close off the parentheses, top semicolon. Okay, oh, too many semis, get rid of that one and. Before we go any further, let's put a breakpoint on this and let's just run this puppy and uh, check that we're actually reading data from the database. Click load, hover over Smurf names, check we've got a live live object. Oh, here we go, yes, there we go. We've got a query, drop it down. Okay, look at the results view, see if we can view these, drop that down, and there we go. There's all our Smurf names. So we've actually read all of those out of the database. We've got them into our program, so now all we need to do is put them into our list box somehow, okay? So let's carry on. One thing I wanted to do, uh, which I didn't, which is a good habit, and that is to use the using statement to make sure that when you exit the application, um, all the garbage is disposed of. 
cleanly. So let's put a using demo Smurfs. Okay, and then let's put a curly here. Put a curly here. Okay. Much tidier. Okay, so next thing we need to do is get the name of our list box, which, what do we call it? We called it List Smurfs, I think, was it? Name, what, we, what do we call it? Uh, no, we didn't call it List Smurfs, we called it List View. Let's call it List View Smurfs. Okay, go back to our button code, and in here we want to do List View Smurfs dot items. Okay, dot add range. Okay, so it's got to be range. It's important that it's range because we're going to add a list. Okay, and then pop open a couple of parentheses. And inside here, um, you're going to need to convert the Smurf names into an array. Okay, so we type in um, Smurf names dot to array. Array to array to array. Where is it? Oh no, auto type in IntelliSense. I hate it. Let's do well, not all the time, obviously, because it comes in very handy, but never mind. Smurf names. Let's try and get that right. Smurf names. That's better. Dot to array. There you go. Wasn't that hard, was it? Okay, close that off with a parenthesis. And we have an error. So why have we got an error? Uh, the best overloaded mathematical system Windows list view, list view, item collection, add range system, not Windows, not list view, dot list view, items collection has some invalid arguments. Okay. What have, what have we done? Smurf names, Smurf names, dot to array. Uh, okay. Okay, and we have an error, and the reason why we got this error is because I've actually selected a list view, and I didn't mean list view, I actually meant list box. Okay, so let's fix that little problem. List box, there we go, back to form. And now we need to change the name of our list box. Blimey, it's never easy, is it, eh? Never easy. Where's the name? H-I-J-K-L-M-N items. There we go. List box. Smurfs. Let's do it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. And this wants to be list box. Smurfs. So, stupid mistake I made. I do apologize. Getting a bit carried away there. You could do the same thing, I'm sure, with the list view. The only problem with the list view is it takes a couple of extra properties. And you'd, uh, list view, uh, a list view item is what you're actually going to be adding. So you need to address that. Create list view items and then copy the list view items to the list view. Um, but we're not doing that tonight. We're doing list box and checklist box. Checklist box obviously is going to be exactly the same process as this. Um, the only difference obviously is you get little check boxes next to your list. Um, but yeah, oh, what the heck? Didn't want to do that. Let's not worry much about that. Let's just go back to our code, check it's all in there, which it is. So hopefully when we click the old run button, bring it back into view, click load, whoosh, we should hopefully get a list of Smurf names in our list view, and there we do. Ooh ha okay. There was that. Not too difficult. We got there in the end. So yeah, lesson to learn there is actually when you're doing a demo, make sure you get the right flaming the, the right tool and uh, not the list view, but list box, list box, list box, list box, and check list box. Okay. Let's run it again just for good measure. Woohoo. Drop it down here. Clickety click. Wait a couple of seconds, there she goes, there we go. Pop Smurf, Smurfed, Hefty Smurf, Brainy Smurf, Grouchy Smurf, Clumsy Smurf, that's me, Greedy Smurf, Jokey Smurf, Ha, oh, Chef Smurf, Vanity Smurf, Handy Smurf, and Scaredy Smurf. And until then, next one, um, this is Clumsy Smurf signing off. Have a good one, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like 
If you liked it, or subscribe if you want to follow me and see more tutorials like this. Till next time, have a great one, boys and girls. Bye.